So we're going to go over this problem. Then I'll give you guys an example. We have plenty enough time to do that. Um, and then, um, then we'll go over the essential questions next class period. So when Kelsey's ready. Okay. So what I want you guys to understand, what I basically just explained last class period, is we understood that when this divides into that, this becomes a factor, right? And when, it, we, when it's a factor, we can determine it's a zero, correct? Correct. OK. So we are going to do, I don't know why adding subtracting me. What we're going to be doing now is synthetic division. Now when doing synthetic division, you guys should already have this written down. It's going over synthetic. Yeah, it's going right under those notes. OK, when you're doing synthetic division, your divisor, right, what you divide by, has to be linear, has to be a binomial. Very important for you guys to understand that. Long division, we can actually divide any two polynomials no matter what they are. However, when applying synthetic division, it has to be linear. What is the power of my divisor? Cricket? Uh, cricket? One. Cricket? One. one. So it's linear. How many terms do I have? Two. Two. So it's a binomial. Okay? Now the next thing we want to do is we want to identify the zero. So what we do is we take our factor, which is our, our divisor, and I just say x plus 6 equals zero, right? That's how we go from factors to zeros. You set your factors equal to zero. Yes? Divisor must be linear binomial? Yes. So now I find my zero. So it's negative 6, negative 6. So x equals negative 6. So the way that we set up, the way that we set up synthetic division, Gavin, you ready for this? OK. So what we do is we take out our 0. So our 0 that we found for this problem is? Negative 6. Negative 6. Then what we basically do is we take the coefficients We take the coefficients and we bring them down. So the first coefficient I have is 1, 2, negative 20, and 24. So basically, all I'm doing, your coefficients and your constant. Because you set your divisor. Your divisor is your factor. If it evenly divides into it, it's a factor. So how do we go from factors to zeros? We set our factors equal to 0. So you set your divisor equal to 0 to find the possible 0. Then you put the possible 0 right here. Then you take all of your coefficients and constants of your polynomial, and you put them right there. Does everybody follow me from what I've done so far? What is right there? Like, what is that? That's a 1. There's a 1 in front of the x cubed. This? This is just a way to organize everything. Wait, how do you know that 6 equals 0? Because x plus 6 equals 0. Subtract 6, subtract 6. x equals negative 6. So now, yep. So now, here's the process that we. You multiply diagonal, 1 times 6. You multiply diagonal, and you add vertically. Negative 20 plus 24 is positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. 
Nick, I'm just taking one off from you. Negative 24 plus negative 24 oh, is zero. That's perfectly fine, man. You have plenty oh, enough time to be writing this down. OK? Yeah? Where'd you get the negative 24? I don't have enough time to my next class. Negative 4 times negative 6 is a negative 24. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's coming to you. Snap it. Thank you, bro. I better not see you in the courtyard.